So carrying on from the Lego tank, here is the Lego skateboard. Now, uh, this was built, I think, two years ago, um, and it was an idea from a friend of mine. And what the way I do is I don't break up models that have worked well or done me well. So my first ever model, George, the robot, is still here. The wheelchair is still here. The Segway, the tank, and the skateboard. And there's a few others, like the Lego roller skates. What I liked about this, it is a bit slow, I admit, and uh, you know, there's not many ways you can improve that, but it, it kind of looks pretty trendy, like as a hoverboard that actually a person can ride made out of Lego, it doesn't look too bad. It's got a foot pedal here to turn it on and off, and, and one of my friends at the time put little stickers to indicate where your feet should go. It's got light sensors at the back to kind of, you know, mimic that it's moving and obviously cool mind storm sensors. We well, gotta remember this is pretty thin. So this can support an 80 kilo person. And what's it about? Eight or nine studs high. If you kind of look out, I've taken the batteries out. You can kind of get the structure. I had to put some rollers here because some people kind of put their feet here. And as you can see, that is pretty mashed up. Again, road caster wheels allowing people to kind of slide and drift. Um, one of the things I like to power slide this, I used to skateboard as a kid. Um, eight NXTs and I have no idea how many motors in there. It looks like 16 motors. So 16 motors in a space this small. I, to be honest, it, it was a pretty big challenge to actually get this to work in, in, and, and still be low profile. Um, I think it was pretty, it was a lot harder than the wheelchair actually. Wheelchair was fairly, it's a box on wheels, isn't it? And the cabling was a bit of a pain because obviously I'm mean, using touch sensors again and extension cables and all sorts. So, again, what should I do with it? So let me know, you know, is this something, well, I don't think it would make it down the road because it's very low profile, but should I turn up to a skateboard park with it? What do you reckon? Let me know.